Patty, Leroy Gibbons here. Uh, today, I'm making for a buddy of mine, Mr. James Greason, uh, get well soon. He just had surgery on his leg. I'm making him a guitar plate. It's just a piece of leather, tooled, gonna be slapped on the side of the guitar. Uh, it's a real thin four ounce piece of leather, so it's not gonna mess with the acoustics of his nice acoustic guitar. Um, we're gonna put his brand and just a nice floral pattern on it. And what I'm gonna do today is go step by step on how to start the process of getting all this ready. So the first thing I do here, I cut out a piece of leather out of my hide. I trace the exterior pattern of what this whole piece looks like onto the hide. Next thing I do is I tape it. Blue painter's tape. You get it at Walmart, $6 for a mega roll. I think this is an inch and three quarters. You tape it, you cut it out. Boom, there you go. And so you tape it for when you get it wet and you do start tooling, it doesn't distort the leather. Next step, I didn't on this piece because this piece is not gonna be sewn. But first thing I do after it's cut and ready to start, it's a blank canvas, nothing on it. Stitch screw. Next thing I'm gonna come in with is my compass. And I have two here. <clears throat> Depends on the size of the art that I'm working on. This one being a lot bigger piece, I'll use my bigger compass because my lines are gonna be that deep anyway. All right, so when I'm done preparing my leather, my stitch groover, my compass, it's already been taped. It's time to get to drawing. So what I like to use is an 8B pencil. 8B. I'm not really quite sure what make this is, but it's made in Germany. There you go, if you can see that. Those are the pencils I use. Just a nice little pencil sharpener, an eraser. I mean, I obviously don't ever need it. As you can tell, it's one solid flow. You can put your finger in the beginning and run it. And it will go all the way to the end. So the next step, we're gonna wet this puppy down with water. That's all that's in there is water. First, put our flower centers in our three open topped flowers. After we put our flower centers in, Time to start knifing. She came on early, pants around my ankle. All I could do was turn and smile. So how does it feel? So now we got the whole thing knifed out, and now what I do next is around the flower centers, I'll take my thumbprint and just go around that flower center, pedal to pedal, and give it a little bit of dimension. After that, I bevel everything. I bevel all the things that need beveling. Going down, leaving Colorado, I've been missing
I like to use these bar grounders from Barry King. out time to do some thumb printing we'll fix up them flower centers a little bit As you can see, there's a little bit of play still in that leather from all the beveling and backgrounding and thumb printing. So you can tell by the leather moving like that that it's bowed. And so I gotta let it dry overnight and I'm gonna set something heavy on top of it. Now I like to do my dress cuts when the leather is uh, fairly dry to where you can control your knife just a little bit better but I uh, will do that tomorrow set me a book on top of it or something one of them ones I ain't ever read but hopefully greaser will like it I know I like it I'd put it on mine and others enjoy the company of the strain Just like the Indian Sea, we're only here to get away. A common thing. Oh, misunderstood. 